uh, here's how you're going to use the, uh, let's see, the Camera Lucida. So basically you launch the application and then you go to this little icon right here and you go select the photo that you want to trace and I'm going to go to all my photos which I've got thousands and thousands but and this is the photo that I want to trace right here now you can't see when you first launch it's not transparent so uh, you have to go to this little icon which is the tracing icon it allows you to adjust the transparency of your photo so initially it comes on as full transparent and you just have to I mean, I'm sorry zero transparency then you can adjust that and initially I will go and position my piece of paper to be uh, where I need it to be in this case and if you needed to uh, rotate the image this is the rotation tool uh, you go back to that one which brings you back to the beginning you use this as the rotation tool so you get it back to whichever uh, position you want it to be and then again the transparency and I'm going to position my uh, image to be about like this you take your pen pencil or whatever in this case I'm using an erasable Prismacolor Cull Erase because um, it's one that you can erase if you want to and then you start to trace uh, your image it makes it really easy now you can again as I said if you need to see a little bit better the image itself of course it makes it less transparent for you to see what you're doing with your pencil now there's other functions to this particular app which are kind of cool you go to the little chest it looks like a little um, treasure chest here and this will give you reset to original which is your first choice and obviously it would be um, let's see let's give it back so if you've done something to it you can go back to reset to original so you start with the original if you want to go 64 colors now to make this disappear just um, touch your screen outside that box and it gives you an idea so this kind of like highlights some of the uh, individual colors it takes away a lot of the other colors now if you want to go to sepia toned again if you want to do more of a monochromatic type of image you can do that grayscale posterized and again here it gives you a choice of a bunch of different um, shades of gray which could be useful in determining your values and let's see the next one is um, uh, again let's see you can see my hands there different uh, tracing for posterizing the gray level very useful for your um, gray scale wash level same thing I mean you've got you've got to play with this and see which one it gives you which category would be useful for whatever it is that you're doing and again you can use the uh, level of transparency with those and black and white age detect now how cool is that you can use that as a tracing you can still see through it because of the transparency and you can actually once you've done let's say you like this and you can save it uh, let's see flicker rate no that's not the save tool sorry that's not right anyway so we can go back to the beginning and again you can do and the thing that you can do is because this you see how it kind of pulsed right there and it was adjusting the uh, focus and once you you can put your hand down there and it's gonna focus on that push this little icon right here it's gonna set your focus to stay to stabilize so that it doesn't keep focusing on and off as you put your hand in and out it will stabilize it once you are all done you can actually in this case oh that's not it but there is a way to save and I can't see how it is now but um, oh here it is so you can do something go back to the beginning you can save it so now you've saved this particular image 
and that's all there is to it really it's very very useful you can even um, let's go back to this part here if you want to really get a close look it's it is proportionate so you can continue continue uh, drawing and tracing and it's going to be you can really see up close to get really a lot of details all depends how much you like to add to your tracing before you start painting I tend to just go around the outer edges of things and um, you know not necessarily like I wouldn't put all those little details here with the white now you can see all the way transparent how much I did and then you go back and you can see anyway it's a really cool tool it's only $4.95 it's an app for iOS you know Apple uh, I know that there's another one or at least somebody said there's another one for the other uh, operating system for the other types of phone I'll look for it if I find it I'm going to put the link in the description of the video so you guys that don't use the Apple product can have something similar now I don't know how it works but supposedly it's something very similar to this very useful and as far as the size of it you have to raise um, your tablet and of course my camera is like right here so you have to rotate make sure your camera is showing on the wrong side of your tablet so it sees the image that's down below I mean your paper uh, and again you raise it or lower it depending on the size of your paper and the position you want to have your image end up being how big it is or whatever so you play with that uh, the one thing and I'm going to show you my setup here let me get my phone okay this is what I use this little gizmo and of course I'm a messy person I've got all kinds of stuff here uh, it's it's a um, it's a laptop desk that can be adjusted all these little uh, circles here adjust you push them in and you can adjust the height and the angle of the table and so you know if you use it as a laptop you would use this as the front and put your laptop and you could have it tilted and it would kind of be held by this but I find obviously that for me I just have uh, the edge of my uh, tablet overhanging the the camera is over here on the back side and uh, it works really well I've used my little setup here is great all right that's it guys hope you enjoy